So I'm 30 years old now and over the last decade I've had a few people comment on my personality, comment on my mindset, comment on the things that I say, the way I think. There's one thing that keeps coming up, there's one thing that keeps recurring. I've heard a couple of my friends say it, maybe my mum might have said it to me possibly, even my girl has said it. They've all said, you're judgmental. Which is true, I am judgmental. In some of my videos, I said stuff like, if you're moving with a girl, you're a fucking dickhead. Don't move in a girl's yard, blood. Don't live under a girl's roof. The only woman's roof you should live under is your mother's yard. That's it. Stop pitying homeless people. They put themselves in that position. I was at someone's yard. It's me, him and his brethren. And he lives at, at the time he was living at his grandparents' yard and that. And he was talking about, yeah, the government, they need to help out the old people and that. Like, even my grandparents, they're going to basically be freezing this winter because gas and electric bills are, are so expensive and that. And I had to cut him and interject and said to him, brother, the reason why a lot of these old people are going to be struggling and that in winter with the gas and electric bills is because prior to that, years ago, when they were young, fit and healthy, they didn't get themselves educated. They didn't have a good career or a good job. They didn't save money. They decided to take the easy route. When I see someone not doing well for themselves throughout their whole life for a good 10 years, I know it's them. I know it's not, oh, where they're from, what area, what colour skin they are. And I stand by what I said. So yeah, I am judgmental. The truth is everyone wants to be judged. The problem is no one wants to be judged in a negative light. Everyone wants to be judged in a positive light, subconsciously. This is going on subconsciously, you don't even know it. even down to the cars that people drive. You think a man wants to drive a C43 Mercedes, Audi Q7 or a BMW M5 because it's a reliable car. No one is buying those cars because it's a reliable car. If you wanted a reliable car, why not buy a Honda Civic which is a third of the price? People aspire to drive these cars because they get some sort of social status. They look rich because they want to be judged in a positive light. You think people are really wearing Balmain, Balenciagas, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, because the material feels nice, it fits good. It's long lasting, hard wearing. No, man are buying those clothes and wasting their fucking money with watches as well because of the status that they get from it. Because they want to be judged in a positive light. Talking about clothes. <laughs> so, man's had this hoodie since I was 17, so 13 years. And um, you can see it's all raggedy and that. Yeah? Look at the cuffs and that. Yeah, It's all torn up and that. I made a video before, I think it was the one where I took my mum up to my house here and then took her to the flat around the corner. And... Um, I'm basically narrating the video and I'm wearing this hoodie. And my girl must have said, ah, oh, Jay, man, you're wearing that hoodie and it's all tore, tore up and that. And I'm thinking, cause she was like, oh, you know, it's all tore up and that, you'll see that's on camera. And I'm thinking, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I purposely put this hoodie on today to make this video, yeah? I don't give a damn. I don't care what man looks like in my videos, blood. Anyone want to comment, oh, Jay's wearing a raggedy hoodie that he's had for 13 years, bro. That's a sentimental value. Man's had this since I was 17 years old. Centered, blood clot, ras clot, mental value, you know. Anyone want to comment, oh, Jay's wearing a, a, um, a hoodie that he's had for 13 years old. Tour. Bitch, I've got three properties, maybe four by the time this video's been released. I'm in the process of buying my four property. Don't tell me nothing, blood. There's certain man, they would never dream of coming on camera. Unless they're fully dripped out. Balmain t-shirt, Balenciaga, jeans and that. Although they're sitting down on, can see what's on their bottom rascal at half. Fresh haircut. LV glasses. Fucking Versace um, robe. Certain man would never dream on coming on camera without a fresh haircut. Me, I don't give a fuck, blood. Certain man, 
Yeah? Or lip gloss and all them things there before they come on camera. I ain't one of them guys, blood. Certain times you don't see me in my videos and you get me, man's got a fresh trim and that man's looking good. Always look good, but looking exceptionally good. I didn't think, oh, I'm looking good today. Make a video, maybe one or two. Yeah. All, right, all, right, all, right, all right, maybe now and then I might think, oh, let me make a video because I just got a fresh trim and that. But for the most part, I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. Sometimes I just make videos and I happen to have a fresh trim that day or I had a fresh trim a couple of days ago or whatever. But for the most part, man's looking rough in my videos, always wearing the same clothes. Certain man, they would never dream of making a video looking rough. I ain't no pretty boy, blood. I'm not a sweet boy. I don't care. I'm a rough guy. I don't mind looking rough in my videos and that. I'm not a girl. There's a lot of people out here. Like, there's some people, they will say, oh, everyone's got an opinion on, like, you know, like Twitter and Instagram and all these social media and that. Everyone's got an opinion because people will see certain Instagram posts and that and go into the comment section and see everyone with their opinion and that. And they'll think, oh, everyone's got an opinion. Why do people feel like they can put their opinion down and, you get me? A lot of the people that think like that, oh, yeah, why are people always commenting and commenting and commenting and that? A lot of those people who think, why are people always commenting and commenting and commenting? A lot of those people, they think like that because they would never comment. Because they're worried about what people would think about their opinion. There's certain man they would never dream of getting on camera like me and talking hella grease. There's certain people right now, they can release a video. And the, the, the whole time they're thinking, what are people going to think? They're constantly checking their comment section and that. Me, I don't business. I know man talk a lot of stuff and a lot of people hate what man say, but boy, it is what it is. There's a lot of people out here, they would never leave a comment on their Instagram post and that. Because they're terrified of what the world will think of them, expressing their opinion. Trust me, there's some man out here. They will take a picture, you know that man there? They take them pictures there and they're all like, you get me, push out. Like, you get me, they think they're super drippy and that. They'll take a picture, all, you get me, all looking all. And literally, they'll take that picture and then they will spend about two, three hours. You get me, after they, you get me. Two, three hours thinking of a caption to write. And after two, three hours, they'll come up with some fantastic caption. Because obviously, they don't want no one to think that they're stupid or anything like that. They want to be judged on their photo. And if they are judged on their photo, it's in a positive light only. They'll come up with some stupid caption. Only God understands me. Like, yeah, because you're a fucking idiot. That's why only God understands you. Like, what the fuck does that even mean? Like, this is bullshit. There's certain people that will think this thing through, you know, because they're worried about what the outside world thinks of them. Bullshit. Man, they're sitting there posing like, like it's foolishness. Everyone wants to be judged in a positive light. And no one wants to be judged in a negative light. See, people, this is the thing about Instagram and that. You see all these people posting up all these pictures and that. They've got the new car. They've got the new watch. They're drippy, drippy, drippy and that. But they don't tell you about the times where times are rough. See, everyone, they will show you their car. They will show you their clothes. They will show you this holiday that they go on, this watch, whatever in it. But they don't tell you. They don't write down in the caption, blood, I'm stressed right now, you know. My bank balance is nuts. I'm living paycheck to paycheck. I can't take a day off work. I'm self-employed. If one wrong thing goes with this car, I'm fucked. I won't be able to go to work. If I can't work, I ain't gonna get paid. I ain't even got no money. If this car breaks down, I ain't got no money to pay for this car. But they will show you that they got a new watch. They will show you all the drip. They'll show you the car and that. 
Everyone wants to be judged in a positive light. But they don't ever show you the stuff that might make them get judged in a negative light. So yeah, I will continue to be judgmental on that. Because everyone wants to be judged. Just in a positive light. All these people with hella opinion and that. But they're scared to write down a comment underneath a post. Although, you get me, they feel some type of way. Or they feel like they need to comment and that they won't. They will hold back their comments and that. But when they get around their friends... They're talking on this, talking on that, calling their friends. Oh, do you see this? Oh, I think this, I think that. Bro, put down in the comment section what you think if you're that passionate about it. If you've got time to phone your friend about this, why don't you put it down in the comment section? People, they'll get together with two, three of their, four, five of their friends and that. Uh, chatting, 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 chatting. Blood, make a fucking podcast if you've got so much opinion. But they won't. Because they're scared of getting judged. They're scared of people's opinions. Fuck people's opinions. Step out of your comfort zone. You might actually um, create a following in that. You know how many millions of people would love to be in my position to have the balls that I've got to talk on whatever I feel like talking on and put it out there for the world to see. And if you, feel, if you don't think it takes balls to, to talk on what I talk about or give your opinion, I beg you start a channel. I bet you make a couple hundred videos and that. It does take a bit of balls, you know, to, you get me? Express your opinion and that. So, yeah, I will continue to be uh, judgmental and that. The guy wants to be judged. Parents will be like, oh, my child got an A in his maths exam and that. Yeah, respect. But they won't put up that their kid is getting a D in English and them teams there. Because no one wants to be judged in a negative light. People always show you the wins, but no one ever shows you the L's. Read my book. Man spoke about a, a few L's. You get me? I could have been in the book, oh yeah, I mash up this person, I mash up that person. Nah, I've been mash up myself, you know, a few times. Read my book. Bear fighting stories in that book there. Yeah, man, I keep it real. Keep it 110, bro. Obviously, there might be certain YouTubers, their brand is, you get me, looking good. Like, RIP Kevin Samuels, the GOAT. He was an image consultant, innit? So if he's coming on with a raggedy hoodie and that, like, come on, fam. Like, <laughs> you get me? Um, but yeah, his brand was, get me, image consultant. So he has to look good and that. But man, me like, man like me, I just speak the realness and that. Man, just, I don't... I don't ever feel like, oh, you know, yeah, have to look pretty and that for the camera. Yeah, I might comb my beard or something if I can be bothered. But other than that, I don't give a shit about looking uh, spectacular on the video. I don't, I don't want people coming to my channel. Like, why would I want man to be looking at me if I'm always looking good? Like, why, why would I give a damn about that anyway? I want my team to be so good that man don't even look at me. When when I'm on uh, when I'm playing when they're playing my video and that I want man to just put my thing on and just get me do what they're doing, whatever it is. They just got me in the background and that. They don't even need to yeah. Forget about people watching me, looking at me. I want man to listen. There's certain girls right now yeah. They got these big YouTube following and that. They've got the big YouTube following. Most of their viewers are fucking thirsty guys. Managers in awe. Most of their following is not from Gal. People weren't watching your content because it's the realness and it resonates with them and that and you get me their respect the tick. They're just there because sex sells. A lot of Gal that have these big followings and that on, on Instagram and YouTube, most of their followers are men, thirsty men. I guarantee you if that same girl was doing the same stuff but she was fat, overweight and she had a moustache and the armpit hair and that, you think she would have as much followers and subscribers and that, no? So then you know what it is, you know what it's about. Anyway, man, I will continue to be Ross Clark judgmental because everyone wants to get judged. It's just that people want to be judged in a positive light only. Stay white, done, man.